Hello, Tara Long. How are Hi, you doing? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I am also good. So I hear you are a pretty big Hearthstone fan. I am. I have uh, not been playing too, too much lately. I'm, I'm no Nick Robinson, let's put it that way. <laughs> but I do enjoy a good game of Hearthstone. You and Nick and Phil and Griffin, all huge Hearthstone fans. So I'm really interested to see what you think of this game. This is Chronicle RuneScape Legends, which just came into open beta on March 23rd. So it is very Hearthstone-esque, but it combines it with this sort of interesting board game element. Um, and we're gonna play through a round together. You can watch me and critique my style with your, your Hearthstone knowledge. So this is really similar to Hearthstone. You get your hand and then you can choose what you want to keep and what you want to get rid of. I'm actually shocked by how similar this looks to Hearthstone. Like so many of the small graphics and the text and everything. Mm -hmm. It's almost like it's very brazen. But it, it does make it a little different as you'll see when we go through this I mean, round. Yeah, the whole board game aspect is definitely unique, but well, unique from Hearthstone. Mm hmm. So we have the gold in the upper left corner is how much it costs to play a card. Uh, and then the bottom corner is you'll see what we get from playing the card. And this is how a round goes. So me and the opponent are each on our own track. We set up our cards beforehand. Um, those are the enemies that we progress through. And there are some cards where you can attack your enemy on their track. And you go through five chapters of this, and then at the very, very end, you get to fight each other based on how much attack you've built up over the course of these five chapters. Um, so I'm gonna take three health from him right now. Yeah! So are there classes here? Yes, so Ozan is the thief, that's my opponent. He's back there freaking lurking behind the windmill watching me. Uh, and that guy is a creeper. I know. I actually really like him. He, he's kind of handsome in a Flynn Rider kind of way, but also a creepy in a I, I get Flynn it. Rider kind of way. Yeah, yeah, he could go there. Uh, so I'm Arianne, the mage. Um, there's also a blacksmith, um, a typical warrior called the raptor, or he's a tank actually, um, and a vampire called Vanescula. This card- Do the white wolf, do the white wolf. Why do you want? Why do you want to do this to me? I don't know. I just like the picture. Actually, okay. Here, let's move that over, because I can get to attack from this what card, my ally card. Okay. So now for a third, yeah, yeah, we're doing really well. We have twenty-nine of our thirty health. So let's try that. I like. I love that penguin. There's some really funny cards. There's like a that that penguin that uh, lets you discard a card and then get an attack. There's some kind of penguin sheep combination card. I wish I had it in my deck. I think it's exclusive. I think it's one of the rarer cards. Oh, you'll be interested to know there's a dungeoneering mode, which is basically exactly like the, the arena in Hearthstone nice. where you go through and you make your deck and you just go through random matches um, until you die. Oh, sweet, I got the penguin. So I'm not super familiar with this game. It, is this a free to play? It is free to play, um, yes. So it just came into open beta. You can actually download it on the website right now. And uh, it's for PC only, which I think is really unfortunate because I wanted to play this, you know, A, on my back, my Mac, B, on my phone, because yeah, yeah I think it's, it's unfortunately limiting, but... Um, I play Hearthstone exclusively on my iPad. I just am not a sit in front of the computer and play games type of gal. I never have been. I'm the same way. Like I will sit for hours in front of a console or on my phone, but on a computer, I don't. It's just not as ergonomically That's the thing. pleasing. I need to, to me. recline, man. Yeah, you gotta lie back, and yeah. uh, it's it's just not the same. So I don't know. What do you think of the the fact that I'm just not interacting with him so much throughout these these five chapters? You can see we're in chapter three right now, of the five. I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I have no idea what's going on in the game right now. <laughs> I'm assuming you've already played through the tutorial and everything. I have. And beefed up your character, and that's probably why, like, you're you're acting like somebody who's played a lot of this game. Because everything's to find going a, real fast here. An interesting way to capture. Okay, well, we'll go we'll go through this round together. So, I have my hand of cards. I'm getting three cards with each round and I can place them in these slots, basically on the game board that we'll go through. Um, so I have my cards now. So this one has five health, it has two attack base, and if I beat it, sorry, I keep selecting the other card. If I beat it, I'll get two gold. So that's a pretty good card. I only have three attack base, um, as you can see down there. Um, 
I have four gold, so if it costs any money to play, I could only play up, you know, up to that amount. And I have 22 health. Um, his stats are up here as well. This is something I probably should have told you at the beginning. Um, and now I'm gonna get three gold for that, which means I basically have four, five, six, seven gold to spend, which is pretty great. Uh, it means I have more opportunities to play other cards. I'm gonna get these attack so that I can. I'll do this. So what is that Gika? card do. That is an ally. That gives me two more temporary attack power. Or one more attempt. One over two. Whatever that means. I'm not great at the maths. And then I'm going to... that This. This I love. So that's going to deal ten damage to him at the very end of this turn. Oh, wouldn't you want to do that at the beginning of the turn? if it's? I had to save up uh, money to be able to play it. So I'm going to mm. get three gold for this. Which means I'll have seven. Then I get my attack power which will give me enough. See, now I have three attack, um, but at the after this, I'll have enough to Justice defeat the those. haunted soul. Um, not without, wait, maybe without losing health. I'm not sure. We'll see, we'll see. So I'm still, numbers, numbers, man. Numbers are hard. So go, you're not damage. actually doing any damage right now. You're just kind of- I actually just did five damage to him because that was a side effect of the card I just played and he just attacked me. Which is not cool, man. Not cool. I'm down to seven health. But I just did ten damage to him because of the side effect of that card. So I don't, it's it's a lot less involved. Like throughout the match, you're not really like in Hearthstone. You're going up against this person, and you you have to be very reactionary. Yeah. But in this, it's kind of there. There have been a lot of situations where I thought I'm gonna come out of a round okay, and then horrible things will happen, and like like they'll just. Slay me. Oh, that's a really bad idea. Put that back, Simone. Um, so this is one where I can duel him just straight up, and he would probably destroy me? Nah, it's fine. Ooh, ooh, okay. So this is basically Hearthstone if you had to play four hands at a time. Basically. On a board. <laughs> Interesting. It doesn't seem that different from it when you put it that way, but I feel like the strategy totally changes. It does, and I know I I want to play it more because I, at the moment I'm not sure. You know, as you play more and more Hearthstone, you kind of get a sense of how cards interact with each other, and I'm sort of beginning to get that with this. Um, I mostly play as Arianne because, in the same way that I mostly play as Jaina when I play Hearthstone. I don't know. I guess I like mages when I play card games, but um. Oh my God. Shouldn't have done it. I I wanted to warn you, but I didn't. So when you get defeated in a battle, is that it? Yeah, that once you get down to one health in a battle, that's pretty yes. much it's it for that. And then I level up and I get my new cards. So that's you know match over, and then I can go back and I can play um, another casual match as any one of these characters. It looks like there's some more characters that I could get later. Um, or I could just go practice against the NPCs, which is really what I should be doing with my life. Um, and then there are these, they have, similar to Hearthstone, um, you can look at your card packs. Uh, you can also buy different backs for your cards. Um, you have a, your whole card collection down here in collection where you can go through and look at all your monsters and all your support cards. Um, and make new decks in that way, which is something that I am too scared to do. I just did Dungeoneering for the very first time. Um, and this is, like I said, basically the arena mode. I got through the first one. This is the deck that I made. And um, it did okay for one round, and we'll see how how I handle it, how it yeah, as I keep going. But yeah, it's I'm definitely enjoying it. Like, I can't say I'm not enjoying it. And it is free to play, which I think is great. And they are iterating on it. Um, it's an open beta. They've already released updates since it got into open beta on the 23rd, so it's growing. So you don't think it's pay to win at all? It hasn't felt like that so far. I've definitely won my fair share of matches and I've lost my fair share of matches as well. I don't feel compelled to, to spend money on cards. I don't feel like they're being kept for me behind a paywall as it were. Mm -hmm. um, perhaps as I get out of the rookie level that I am at right now, I would feel differently. But um, look at that nice badge I can get. Isn't that great? I let everyone know the truth. <laughs> but yeah, so that's, I, I, I definitely am enjoying it so far. I wish it were available on more platforms. Um, 
and I think it it has a lot to explore. So this, yeah, this is a game that looks like it's built for iPad. I'm guessing that's probably something that they're gonna do in the future. I would love to see that. Here's hoping.